Taurus, what up? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. Uh, this will be a general reading for the sign of Taurus, wherever that may resonate at in your chart. Keep in mind that you can flip the roles. Energy is fluid. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, these readings are timeless, so I, whenever it finds you, there will be a message for you in here to help you step into alignment, to empower you, to help you along your way. So let's tap in, spirit. What do we have for my Taurus for their highest good here? I'm feeling uh, like new ideas or maybe a lot of ideas or maybe um, something new getting your attention here. Some sort of change. Hmm. Recent past, it's looking like you're realizing that you have been giving to a situation that isn't really giving to you maybe a toxic situation maybe some sort of soul contract i feel like you've been realizing that you've been like giving too much to this for too long <laughs> so many a lot so much shit going on outside i hear the ice cream man i hear construction um they're wanting the star out here okay and they threw it they had me throw it right toward this Stranger curiosity. Hmm. Okay, so back to the reading. Your current energy. You guys. Maybe you guys are getting distracted. A little bit. What do we have incoming from my Taurus, please? I see you guys being guided to walk away from something right now. Alright, and I see you trusting that guidance. And I see you taking those steps. Got the fool out here and the high priestess. Aries energy, Pisces out here, um, Eight of Cups walking away from something that maybe didn't work out. Maybe I see water signs and earth signs. This could have been a job for some of you. Some sort of situation though that I feel like maybe you had a lot into that you're like, okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm really done. Um, let's see, in incoming, I see some sort of balance and stability coming into your situation, right? I see you seeing things a lot differently. I see some sort of enlightenment here, some sort of maybe epiphany or really just a whole entire change in the way that you're seeing things. I see this this ending of this cycle. I see walking away from this is going to bring in a lot of stability. And I was getting the feeling like it was some sort of karmic cycle, all right? For, with the Empress on the butt, for some of you, it could be the parent of your children or something like that. And I feel like this has been coming up in Taurus readings. Um, the sun right here, you guys. So a lot coming to light, a lot of realizations. And I really feel like my Taurus are like, you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm doing what is best for me and those around me. You're following your guidance. You're taking this action. And like I said, I see a ton of abundance coming in here. I also see for some of you, maybe some uh, an offer coming your way in love. All right. Your advice here, Taurus, is to do what makes you happy. To continue to work on yourself. Continue to move forward. Don't lose sight of the end game here. This is leveling up with this Eight of Pentacles here taking classes, getting certifications, continuing to better yourself in any way. And then what I'm seeing down here is the magician in the this Knight of Wands. So this is really an opportunity for you, Taurus, to put together that ultimate vision. Like your thoughts are manifesting right now. And this is saying that any action you take right now toward what it is that you're creating is going to be super fruitful. I'm seeing a portal here. I'm seeing all of your hard work paying off. I'm seeing nothing but blessings coming in for you guys. Wow. You guys have been through like a rebirth, a, a whole ass rebirth in these past couple months, dude. And this is really about not holding yourself back. There's limitless possibility for you, my Taurus, in anything that you take action toward right now is going to be very fruitful, and that's how I'm hearing it. Um, so don't let your inner world sort of get in your way right now. Don't let 
these other people's energy get in your way right now protect your energy you guys maybe try some spiritual protection um breathing conscious breathing you guys um staying grounded knowing that you are winning regardless you have the upper hand here you're becoming enlightened you're leveling up i see things balancing out and i like i said i really do see maybe somebody taking some action towards you here taurus in love a lot of conflict here though you guys make sure you are cutting these energetic cords to these past situations all right a lot of downloads coming in for my Taurus people right now. You guys listen to your intuition. Your crown chakra is wide open right now. All right. Any intuitive guidance you're getting right now, go towards that, especially if it's leading you, it, it, coming from your heart space here, leading you towards your heart space, towards your happiness. Taking control and moving forward with this new opportunity. Let's grab you guys some... Romance Angels, I've also got the Goetia here, and we are going to grab some cards from that, seeing what is trying to block you, if anything, or what you need to look out for, any demonic or low frequencies um, that you need to be aware of right now. Stay optimistic about your love life and free yourself, you guys. I'm big energy on freeing yourself from this karmic energy or freeing your energy. I know for some of us, we have to deal with these people because, um, you know, of children or whatever. Um, but that doesn't mean that they have to be in our energy, right? So this is really about protecting your energy. Worth waiting for flew out. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Past life relationships. I knew that was going to come out. And then we've got heart, heart to heart conversations, religious factors. So whatever you are going through, this is some sort of like spiritual level up. It is freeing your soul. Is how I'm hearing it. Confirmation. Holy shit. Um, forgiving and learning. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. What do we say? And then separation, you guys. Um, with that train popping off like that, you guys, I'm going to end it. Um, because I'm in the hood and these things can last forever. As obnoxious as that is. So maybe you're dealing with a super obnoxious person. Slow down. Time and nature. You guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um going to be doing a live tap in here soon for a collective energy reading so hopefully i'll post something beforehand to sort of like give a warning and we'll see how that goes because i haven't went live here on youtube before yet so thank you guys for tuning in and i hope to see you on the next reading